lot of sharp dressers coming off that Spurs bus as they arrived at the arena, pumped up and primed for action. Hello and welcome to a great night of hoops. And tonight, a little more riding on the line. This is the in-season tournament. And tonight, we've got the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the San Antonio Spurs. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. And a look now at San Antonio's upcoming schedule. On Friday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Sacramento Kings. And then on Saturday, they'll defend home court against the Memphis Grizzlies. And the starting group for the Spurs. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. Paul out there with Devin Vassell. And it's Barnes in at the three spot. And for Oklahoma City, Gilgis Alexander runs things with Gort to his side. Chad Holmgren out there with Hartenstein. And it's Williams at the small forward. Conference rivals, Greg, butting heads in this one. How does that raise the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one bad. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. All against Gilgis Alexander. Spurs passing it around. A three from Barnes. The Thunder pull it in. Here's Dort. And Paul over to help. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. And stolen by Rembenyama. Out of bounds, Oklahoma City takes possession. And for the Western Conference, we have a chance now to recognize our player of the week, Victor Rembenyama. Well, you just look at the scoring he's provided and the numbers he has put up, and it's a no-brainer. Rarely does someone carry an offense this much and not walk away with some form of hardware for their efforts. Ball against Gilgis Alexander. Dort with a screen for Gilgis Alexander. Here's Hartenstein. Defended by Wembenyama. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Barnes outside. Pass to Sohan. And it's Vassell in the corner. Kicked away. And Benyama with it. Against Miami, he was really on his game. That one goes. Count it. By no means selfish. Jeremy will rarely move the ball to a more open guy. And when you look at a player like Devin Vassell, his massive reach really stands out. GA, a young man with a near seven foot wingspan. Combine that with his quickness, Vassell has potential to be a really remarkable defender. Like at six, they get it back. Outside, Dort, Gilgis Alexander. A shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Well, this is why SGA is a focal point of this offense, because of that ability to score. Back to Barnes. Here's Sohan, defended by Holmgren. And they're able to recover. Vassell, no good. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and count it from 19 feet away. Gilgis Alexander's got his second basket of the night. When he gets that jumper work and shake and do pretty much anything off of it. Paul passes to Vassell. Dort with the ball. He's picked up by Paul. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Here's Wembenyama. Great numbers on a nightly basis as he averages over 24 points a game. 
moment here to check out some of the stats for women Yama. First in rebounding, and of course, he's the number one shot blocker in the league. Just an imposing presence inside. And his scoring abilities are just so far out of sight. Number one overall right now. No one's been able to slow him down or even come close. Now, here's Holmgren. That's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And great job by Holmgren to maintain his balance and just bending off the defense there. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Sohan. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Three points. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. Now, here's George. Eight points his last outing. Here's Holmgren. Epic counts. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Spurs trail by seven. Ball looking over the floor. A three from Barnes. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. There's the pass to Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Holmgren. For the three. And Dort gets it to go. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. The Spurs have gone 2 of 6 from the field. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple of years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. Here's Gilgis Alexander following the basket by Chris Paul. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Williams, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Wiggins comes in for Chet Holmgren. And it's Alex Caruso in for George. They double-team Wembenyama. And here we go. Fast break. Wiggins has got it. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. They've been excellent so far. Coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Here's Wembenyama. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. When you take a glance at the season and standings, Greg, teams are still kind of feeling things out. Yeah, it's just so early in the season, Kevin, and that means teams still trying to establish an identity as well as experimenting and just trying out new rotations. We're catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Joe's checked in, and Wallace subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. Well, Spurs fans, the last five years, Steve, haven't been able to enjoy the playoff experience like Spurs fans of old. They haven't, Kevin. And you know they've held the record for most playoff appearances in a row at 22 seasons. But it's been a long five seasons now without going. They have lots of youth and a hope for the future. Kicks it out to Jones. Has to Wembenyama. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And that one's good. Wiggins. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Johnson for three. It's good from long range. Johnson. Really solid from deep. You have to stay connected to Johnson or he'll hurt you. Wallace with a screen for Wiggins. Collins with some nice D. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. Here's Wembenyama. And they pick up two. Wembenyama has got it back down to within single digits for San Antonio. Three second difference between shot clock and game. Wallace kicks to Caruso. Back to Wallace. 
fires from way outside. A rebound by the Spurs. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And that one was all about offensive execution, running your plays, picking your spots. That was the key message going in. Be efficient. Everyone was on the same page, and you got a chance to see the results. Shea Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for Oklahoma City. He got it up. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And we'll get a look at how the Hustle Stat game has been going for the Thunder. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. And something else they've done well tonight is finding points in transition. So far, the fast break has been a plus for them. Williams is out there with Wiggins. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Alex Caruso. And it's Joe in at the two guard. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you very much, Kevin. Oklahoma City is a franchise that has to have patience. Coach Mark Dagnold said there's no schedule. That's the biggest thing. There's a way of operating that we're very confident in and that we're going to bet on. And that's developing, having a good environment, and trying to play a style that scales forward. We're just going to keep our head down. Kevin, back to you. And keep going straight ahead. All right, D.A., thanks. Alex Caruso, he can make that pass in his sleep. Jones, the pass to Collins. For three, Jones, no luck. You know, he was looking for revenge, trying to match shots from distance. Pass to Joe. Shot from the wing. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Easy chance from mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Outside, Cowan launches it. Buries the long-range jumper. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Ingram with the steal. Johnson against Wiggins. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Keldon Johnson. That'll be his second foul of the game. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Williams, he's checked in for Jane. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Vassell's checked in, and it's lights out with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. And the Thunder making a switch here. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and he drops it in from the low post. 14 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. From Lucas Dorn. Tries it from nine. Ingram drawing the double team. Jacks up a three. Vassell, no good. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. Dishes it to Ingram. Fires for three. Buries it from three-point range. Ingram's got five points now in the quarter. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up and despite of the excellent defense at that. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. The pass to Vassell. Let's it go with a three. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Tight defense on him. And it's not uncommon to see arguments boil over between teammates, Steve. Sports has a different line than most professions, don't you think? I do, Kevin. I agree. The physicality and competition factors into that. Most of these guys, you don't argue, but if you have a common goal of winning, usually that takes care of everything. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Chet Holmgren, he's jacked in for Wiggins. And it's Williams in for Alex Caruso. Holmgren against Ingram. Down to five on the shot clock. 
And that one drops for him. Vassell's got five now. Nice concentration by Vassell after getting bumped. Johnson against Williams. That one good for two. Williams has got his first basket. Spurs trail by eight. Now Vassell, five points in the game. Out left of the wing. Kicks it out to Johnson and stolen by Williams. Jumps up and finished off by Williams. Love the recognition, realizes that one is all him. Sometimes that's the call. You want to be unselfish, but even more so, you want to be effective. Three-pointer, and again, it's the Spurs from deep. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Johnson. It's going to go on Keldon Johnson. And you can see Shea Gilgis Alexander thinking out there in a good way. He really studies every situation. We've seen players criticize for skipping their media obligations after tough losses, Greg. How egregious is that in, in your opinion? Well, you know, they say the true test of character is how you respond to when things aren't going your way. So, for me, it's important to be accountable in those tough moments. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any company. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. There's the lob to Dort. Can't stop the alley-oop home. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. They're getting their first look at the Thunder in this one. And going back to last season, they really struggled for wins. And even against a team like this, with comparable talent, they didn't manage one win in the season series. Alex Caruso is checked in for Oklahoma City. Rembenyama looking it over. Vassell, and it's rebounded by Oklahoma City, led by as many as 14 points. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Spurs trail by five. Tipped away. Nunez passes to Wembenyama. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. There's 53 seconds left to play here on the half. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, good job to take him right at the The Thunder have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. 50 seconds left now here in the second. Nunez defended by Caruso. Nunez. No good on the three. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Thunder. Four-point game. Here's Hartenstein. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Holmgren finds Williams. Outside, Dort cranes the three-pointer. Dort got six. And the three-point shot wasn't always there for Dort, but he's put in a ton of work on it, and it shows. So am the pass to Barnes. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answer each other from range. For three, Holmgren. Shea Gilgis-Alexander, guys, has been on display for Oklahoma City. 
He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Greg Popovich. Pop, what do you like and not like about how your team has played so far? Not too many turnovers, uh, but I think we've got a decent pace. Thanks for your time, Pop. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Halftime is here and with the San... Well, they're coming out firing from deep right now. The defense is spread thin. I'm talking me in 1992 thin. Now, to be fair, that Orlando jersey with the pinstripes, very slimming, big fella. Well, thank you. And switching things up just a bit, let's look ahead. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Now let's check in with David Aldridge to see how Chris Paul's doing. David. Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for the Spurs gave us some info. Oh, that is not what you went to see. It sounds like it's a serious injury. The team was just starting to settle into its rotations. Now, next man up. Kevin? David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sidelines. I know he'll fight back hard to get back on the floor. He wants to be out here with his teammates. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. Evan Vassell out there with Chris Paul. And it's Barnes in at the three. Barnes passes to Wem Benyama. Second shot opportunity. And Holmgren plays with great anticipation on the defensive end. He alters so many shots. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. First two foul. Holmgren kicks to Williams. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. And now a five-point Oklahoma City lead. For San Antonio, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Barnes passes to Wembenyama. Got a piece of it. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And here is Holmgren. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City. Here. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. When it comes to physical play, it's hard to get the best of Dort. He invites contact at both ends. And he makes the first but misses the second. Spurs trail by six. Hey, Steve, when Zohan has the ball, he is, he is pedal to the metal in the full throttle. All gas and no break. Kevin, yeah, he's a one-track mind with the ball in his hands. Get to the bucket is his mindset, and he's just as aggressive on the defensive side. Over to the wing. Here's Holmgren. Connects in the foul line jumper. Holmgren's got six points. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David. Thank you, Kevin. Victor Wembanyama is drawing admirers far and wide, including some who know their hoops. 
like LeBron James. LeBron says he's for sure a generational talent. Everybody's been a unicorn over the last few years, but he's more like an alien. Nobody has ever seen anyone as tall as he is, but as fluid and as graceful as he is out on the floor. Kevin? Yeah, David, you and I agree, he is different. Here's Sohan, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Holmgren with a screen on Paul. Holmgren wide open. Here's Hartenstein, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And the Thunder lead by six. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for San Antonio. They host the Kings after this game. That'll be the first of four played at home for. And, and let's check out some stats. Here are the numbers for Gilgis Alexander. He's putting up 13 points a game, four assists, and three rebounds. And with the ball in his hands, he is an outstanding distributor. He's the straw that stirs the drink. The more plays they run through him, the better. Wiggins is checked in for Oklahoma City. Then for the Spurs, Mamu Kelishvili is checked in, and Keldon Johnson subbed in for Harrison Barnes. Here's Hartenstein, and that one is stuffed right through. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little bit. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And it's Mamu Kelishvili missing and taken away by Johnson. Pass to Paul. It's Wimbenyama, top of the key. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Chance now to check out the NBA's most efficient scorer. Fourth, Victor Wembenyama. And just so reliable offensively. It's one thing to find good looks, but you've got to finish when you get them, and he does at a fantastic rate. The Spurs making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Good on the second free throw. And here is Gilgis Alexander. He's got 23. Williams sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. Crafty move by Shea. He's getting better and better at changing pace. Pass to Johnson. This one for three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got five rebounds tonight. And taken away by Johnson. To the wing right side. Fires from deep. Branham can't get it to go. Oklahoma City leading by seven. San Antonio five. Zach Collins checked in for San Antonio. First personal foul. 13 foul. Spurred substitution. Number 23. Zach Collins. Here's Gilgis Alexander. That ball's high speed that time from Wiggins. Gilgis Alexander's got 27 points. Spurs trail by nine. On the wing, Johnson. Here's the triple. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Hartenstein's got six rebounds in the game. Dort kicks to Gilgis Alexander, and he gets it to go. That's 29 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And the pass to Mamu Kalishvili. The three knocks down the three ball. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three point attempts. The Thunder shooting with confidence. Wow, 66% from the floor. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hartenstein. Yep, that one goes in there. Hartenstein's got six points in the quarter. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Here's Johnson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Given everything he's got, Keldon Johnson's a guy you want on your side. Why? He doesn't let up. He hits the second from the line. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Side Williams. 
with some arc. Count it. And the Thunder lead by 11. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Jones in the post. Wall is covering. On the basket by Jones. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Williams passes to Wallace. Here's Caruso. Shot clock at six. Wiggins finds Caruso. Here's Wallace. Misses the three. Spurs trail by nine. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Jones against Wallace. Collins, a screen on Wallace. Jones drives in. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Wiggins has got four rebounds now tonight. Joe passes to Williams. Drives it from nine. Again, the Thunder score. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this way? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four, we've got Williams, Alex Caruso out there with Wiggins. Then there's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Joe in at the two. He's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Nunez. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists in the game. Wiggins surveying the floor. And that one drops. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Passes to Barnes. Off target from three-point range. And it's Wiggins with the ball for Oklahoma City. They've led by as many as 14 points. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Williams can't get it to go. Spurs trail by eight. Rembenyama passes to Nunez. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. Here's Joe, defended by Paul. Joe, cool. And the Thunder lead by 11. He is cold blooded. Drops the dagger. Piles on to what was already a big lead. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Yeah, and when you're hit, you gotta hit back. And you know he was going to try to respond. Those threes canceled each other out perfectly. Pass to Sohan. But Trey, and again, it's San Antonio with a three. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Pass to Joe. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock. Williams kicks to Gilgis Alexander. No good there. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Here's Sohan. Offline with his three. The Thunder leading by five. Puts one up from 19. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. 
Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points here in the second half. And there's the pass to Nunez. Here's Sohan, covered by Wiggins. Barnes left side. Nailed from three-point land. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. San Antonio making a switch here. Vassell's checked in. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Mark Dagnall talking to his team during the break. Now he wants his team to stop playing it safe. He said, we've got this lead by doing what we do, and we can keep it if we don't get too cautious. Play our game. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. Williams outside. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Well, you love to see that. Holmgren keeping his eyes up and his options open. Vassell against Dort. Vassell kicks to Barnes. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. The three. The Thunder pull it in. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander's got four points now in the quarter. Spurs trail by nine. Now here's Paul. Passes it to Wembenyama. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Wembenyama has got 20 points. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Barnes looking around. He dishes it to Paul. Pass to Vassell. Nifty move. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That one on Holmgren. So crafty with the shot, though. Devin is also skilled at going right into the contest. Vassell hits them both. Boy, did they need those free throws to go down. They're definitely within striking distance. And as to Hartenstein, to the middle. There's Dort. Vassell grabs the board. Vassell's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Back the ball. The pass to Vassell. Let's it go from deep. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got six assists in the game. Devin rises to the challenge of the big moment and scores it. Gilgis Alexander with it. Right through the center that time. All net. Gilgis Alexander's got 35 in the game. Spurs trail by four. Ball outside. Vassell wide open. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Devin Vassell coming up clutch. Vassell against Dort. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hartenstein. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. That is world class. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Pope loose. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Vassell. And so Mark Dagnall calls a timeout. So it's the Thunderbolt. Led by as many as 14 points. And two shots coming up in the line as it gets fouled on the shot. And the foul goes against San Antonio. And this guy just does everything. Scores, passes, the rebounder. Just an all-around terrific basketball player. Tight ball game. Who do you want at the charity strike? This guy. Ball passes to Wembenyama. Ball kicks to Vassell. 
Nails the tray. And the three-point shot really has been their best friend here tonight. He's been huge from deep. That's where he's done most of his damage. And if they need another three, he'll be the guy. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They trail by one. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 29 seconds left in the fourth. Down low. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Count an incredible play by Shea Gilgis Alexander. This kid is not afraid of the moment. A cell against Dort. Ram Benyama, a screen. Here's Vassell. Devin Vassell has got all the twos, and he's showing them off. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Oh, he made it! He got it to go, and he beats the buzzer. Wow! Down he goes at the buzzer. Oh, doesn't get any better than that. One of the greatest shots you'll ever see. The three with nothing but zeros left on the clock. So a close team sees Oklahoma City taking this one. And that's a huge win for him, Greg, in the in-season tournament. Now improving to two and one. And when you talk about advancing in this cup, you're not going to be able to lose two games. So avoiding a one and two start keeps their hopes very much alive. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. Now, let's check out our New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.